Dr. Renkin, hello. Hello from Baltimore. Hello. Hello, Herr Professor Sjordsson. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. Um, say, I got your text message, and I appreciate uh, you're still you're up late at night. You must be uh, staying after in the lab, but it sounds like you're on to something really exciting. Yes, I've been working here with this uh, Crookes tube. Do you have those in America yet? I think I think they're used to um, produce electrons, right, and accelerate electrons in a vacuum. Yes, that's really fascinating. You can you can accelerate electrons and then you can deflect them with magnetic field. Most interesting science. I wanted to show you an interesting experiment. I thought maybe you would want to get a Crookes tube like that for your lab. Oh, that would so be let great. Me show, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show what you can do with those. It's really, really interesting. Um, so let us just first maybe warm it up. So if I guess, if you give us a second. Ah, this is very exciting. Thank you, Dr. Rank. One. Two, three, current. Well, that this time is, we really saw something, Dr. Rankin. And this saying, is fascinating. So you're saying it can't, be, it can't be electrons because they won't travel very far through air. It's not just light coming from that vacuum tube because you covered it with a black cloth. Yes, most mysterious right? Ray that travels to a dark cloth. Uh, but let's make sure, let's make sure, let's see how it, uh, my wife happens to be here. Now, Rengen, may I please uh, ask you to put your hand in front of the screen? <laughs> I'm just curious, what are we going to see? Let's investigate what those rays are capable of. Are you sure that's safe? Um, this is science. <laughs> We should, we should just investigate and not ask this type of questions at this point. This is too exciting. Current. Oh my God. Did you see that? Those mysterious rays, they can travel through flesh, but they are attenuated by bone and extinguished by bone and by wire string. That was amazing. This is the most fascinating <laughs> discovery. Is Bertha okay? I've seen my dad. She's fine. She's fine. I'm. I think. I think I will call those rays X-rays, like the unknowing mathematical equations. I like because it. Because we don't understand the nature, but they are truly capable of amazing things. Great name. You know, maybe you should. I think I will. I will put it on Twitter right away. Are you sure you should tweet it out? Maybe you should patent it first. No, I think I, I have a feeling that this might be useful in maybe in medicine and and maybe in shoe fitting as well. So <laughs> lots of lots of great use for humanity. I think I don't think we should patent it. Let me just share it with everyone right away. I think that's amazing, Dr. Rankin. Congratulations on that awesome discovery. Thank you very much. Thank you.